Yo, it's your boy Logos, and today I want to react to the Supreme Court ruling against affirmative action when it comes to college admissions. I'm of the opinion that this decision was a good one to make. I've heard for years about students being allowed to go to Ivy League schools, even though they don't qualify for the minimum requirements. And I don't care about your skin color or where you come from. As long as you're smart enough and you're able to do the work, you should be allowed in. But the idea that just because I'm black, I should be skipping over people that are white or Asian or any other origin or race when they have better scores than me they're much more educated than me and they're overall going to do better once they do get into college than i am like how can i be against that i don't care about what color you are where you're from you just need to have the merit and the skills to stick around and oftentimes when these students do go to these schools and they don't actually qualify to get in but it's still allowed in because they're black they don't last very long they didn't have the i don't know the discipline or the ability to be very studious K through 12, but then you expect people to flip the switch when they go to one of the biggest universities on the planet? <laughs> Is this a joke? It's crazy. It's like putting a kid or like a soldier in combat without training him. He doesn't even know how to shoot a gun, but you expect him to charge the front lines? It, it's, it's really that crazy to me. Of course, in one case, your life is on the line, and in other case, it's like education, but even still, the whole point is people don't qualify. They're not able to do it, so don't force them into it because you want to be I don't know, socially active or you want to try to fight for people's rights or whatever. Like, this isn't what that about. Education, college, universities is all about pushing yourself further. And if these people have no desire to push themselves further. Don't force them into these colleges where they get debt and get kicked out eventually or they drop out. Who are you helping? Allow people, no matter where they're from, to go to your university if they qualify. This isn't about stopping black people from being educated. This is, this is about stopping any person who doesn't qualify for a public university to not go there if they don't qualify for it. To stop colleges from skipping over Asians, whites, so or anybody else who actually do qualify for it but can't go because they already hit the fucking diversity quota or whatever. It's absolutely stupid and I don't think it's fair to these people. You shouldn't be trying to even the playing field, quote unquote, by hurting other people that did absolutely nothing to deserve this or anything to you. It's a joke. But let's get into this video because I'm pretty sure MSNBC going to bring out some token black people and going to make it seem like if you don't agree with this, you're a coon or some bullshit. Even though Clarence Thomas, one of the Supreme Court justices, is black. But let's ignore, let's ignore that because he don't say what they like them to say. Let's get into it. Julia, what do we know <laughs> at this point? Well, that's right. Affirmative action has been blocked both for private and, oh, and uh, private. public colleges. This okay. is in the UNC case and in the I Harvard can, case. We thought it. there may be a split where they might say that it's <clears throat> unconstitutional for public universities taking public money, but perhaps not for private. But they've said in both cases, college admissions cannot consider race as they try to diversify their student bodies. Now, this is overturning a 2003 opinion by then Justice Sotomayor, who said at that time, we hope in 25 years, we won't have to look at race as a consideration in college, but that's just not the makeup of our country right now. Well, it's been 20 years, and these justices have said that the court, uh, the court according to this opinion today, that they think that race should no longer be a consideration as colleges try to diversify. Going back to oral arguments, we heard then from Chief, Chief Justice Roberts saying, look, it is, he basically saw it as more, being more racist in violation of Title 14 to look at race in considering who should be admitted to college. Harvard tried to argue this is just like trying to get an oboe player on our orchestra. We would look out for oboe players just like we would look at race and trying to diversify what? our student body. No, no, no. How dare you? If you're looking for, okay, let me be upfront. I didn't join band or orchestra. But from my understanding, if you're looking for a particular instrument, that instrument plays an important role within the chorus or song, whatever you're trying to play. That's the purpose of you needing that particular type of instrument or player within your group. But you're saying we need particular black people or just black people here just to say we have them, even though some of them don't qualify for it. Like, come on, would you allow just any oboe player into your group just because you needed one? Even though, even if the one that was off rhythm never played it more than like a few days or a few hours, you're just gonna get anybody to do it. No, you're going to go for the best. And if that best person isn't available, maybe you'll change up your thing or whatever. But either way, you're not going to force somebody that's not qualified to possibly embarrass themselves and embarrass your organization. Bullshit.
At the time, Chief Justice Roberts said no, because we didn't have a civil war over oboe players and we did over race. This will, of course, have historic impacts going forward as colleges try to diversify their student bodies, looking at other things like geographical factors, poverty, any adversity that students have overcome, but they can no longer look at race. It's something that's already happening in eight states across the country, for example, in the public education system, the public system in California. They cannot look at race there. A lot of colleges have said it's been increasingly hard to keep their student bodies racially diverse. Hard to underestimate how big of a decision this is coming from the Supreme Court today. It may not be surprising given the composition of the court, but it will have composition long and of, last What, because there's more white people than black people? Come on. Wait, okay. It's not surprising because of the composition of the court. Who, who was the composition of the court when this law, affirmative action, was initially implemented? Was the majority of black people? I don't think so. Because if it was, would we need affirmative action at that point to begin with? If the majority of the Supreme Court, the highest court in this land, is mostly black people and minorities? No, I don't think so. So this whole idea that <laughs> the makeup of the court is why they're doing this is the evil whites again trying to hold us back. Come on, man. <laughs> I got to find that uh, Supreme Court list from 2003. These people full of it. Lasting impacts on how colleges around the country diversify their student bodies without looking at race as a factor. Okay, I, I knew MSNBC were going to be on some nonsense, and I'm not surprised at all. Like I said at the start, I have no problem with this because this is all about letting people actually qualify for these colleges to get in. And I'm of the opinion that there is no reason at all these black kids are not able to learn this stuff the same way white, Asian, Hispanic, or anybody else can. It's all about the homes, the environment, and in our community, our culture. It is a shame. It is a crying shame that when a black kid decides to read books and talk fluently and know bigger words that are larger than seven, nine letters, he got to hear he's acting white growing up. But then... You want people to let you into college, a major university, one of the most biggest universities on this planet, just because you're black, even though you don't know the material. Come on, this is this is insane. I can't even read a book. I can't read a big old book without a friend. Or, not even a friend, because honestly, I don't associate with people that are ignorant. But some idiot just say, oh, you're trying to act white. Why are you talking like that? You're trying to be educated while you're acting white. Like, kids going off to college and coming back home, visiting home, Having to hear their parents or family members talking to me at them. Why, why are you talking like that? You think you're better than us. But then you get upset because of this. Stop being ignorant. You want At the same time, you want to get everything, but then you don't want to do anything to get it. Get out of my face. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I support this, and I really see no problem with it so far. Maybe more details come out on that changes, but I don't imagine that happening. It's your boy Logos, and I'll see you next time. Peace.